yesterday, down again today. And now this. There's a company called Local Motors. It's developing a 3D printed car. Look at it being 3D printed. Wow. That's this incredible. car That's could be on the road by 2016. Come on in. The CEO of Local Motors, his name is Jay Rogers, and he joins us right now. All right, Jay. Uh, this is obviously just a prototype, right? I mean, this is not something for mass production in the next six months. Prototypical, right? This is really the change for us. This is about mass production. And uh, there are a lot of people that want digital manufacturing or 3D printing uh, to just be stuck in the prototype space. And uh, as a technology company that's trying to change the way cars are built, uh, we wouldn't be doing our business if we just called it a prototype. So okay. uh, um, this mm. is for real. It, it, OK, but it only goes, what, 25 miles an hour? Is that correct? So right now, the first car that we've printed and introduced, that we printed in Detroit uh, this year at the uh, North American International Auto Show, that car only goes 25 miles an hour because of the powertrain that we put in it. We are okay. pursuing highway certification, which would be a 80-plus mile an hour car for this vehicle by the end of uh, next year. Well, now that's interesting. So you really are developing this thing fast. Um, forgive me if I called it prototypical or a, a prototype. I realize what you're doing. What you're doing is, is, is a revolution in the way you actually make a car. But let's be clear here. That is 3D printing of the body, the floor, the chassis maybe, but not the engine. You're not 3D printing an engine, are you? We're 3D printing about 95% of the car. There are certain things, as they say, no need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, we're not 3D printing the wheels, and we're not re 3D printing the motor. These will be electric vehicles, the first ones that we have out on the road. And uh, so the whole structure itself is uh, 3D printed. And there's a reason. You know, the, the Internet has been sort of around browsers on our desktop for the last... 25 years now. It's time for the internet to meet hardware. And uh, you can't digitally uh, manufacture vehicles without processes like 3D printing. And so uh, it's really made it possible uh, to change the way you manufacture a car. Yeah. I mean, you really have, because essentially it looks to me like you've gotten rid of the labor force. I didn't see any human beings there. I just saw a computer driven machine. You know, I, I've been a long-standing fan of uh, innovation and human innovation, and this just changes the, the ways we can innovate. We enable technology in this way, autonomous vehicles, uh, light weighting, safety, in-car tech. All these things are w just ready to explode, and digitally manufacturing cars allows that to happen, and it puts the jobs in those places, which is it's sort of like, you know, before we had an Internet, it's the same thing. The jobs have become for coders. They've become for people that are doing things with this new technology and so uh, we see an awesome opportunity to really expand not sure. just the four-year college labor force but people who have trade degrees because this really makes okay. manufacturing more accessible. Are you a car company? Is that how you describe yourself or are you a, a, an innovative manufacturer with a brand new way of manufacturing? Uh, you could say you're you both but which, but which are you in particular? You know we like to say we are a technology company that designs, builds and sells vehicles. Okay. You're in San Francisco, is that your base? That's correct. We have opportunity. We have places in, uh, right now, Phoenix, uh, Knoxville, Washington, D.C., Berlin, and I'm in San Francisco right now. We're looking to put 50 micro factories that are digitally enabled for 3D printing around the world in the next uh, five years. And so uh, we're mm -hmm. certainly looking at San Francisco. It's one of the reasons why I'm here now. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, all of the, um, the major cities around the United States are targets to bring this because it really localizes manufacturing, and that's why we call the company Local Motors. You got me. Hmm. You, you've got my attention, young man. That is pretty good. Are you wow. a private company? We are. We're a private company, okay. and you know, we when believe you in the manufacturing when are, you, when are you going to do an IPO? <laughs> I don't know. I think as soon as, a, as, soon as the world understands that, uh, that there can be a change in the way Henry Ford started making cars, and I think we're ready for the world to own our stock. And so maybe if we can make that transition happen in the next two years, then well uh, you'll see us be available. Jay Rogers, everyone, from Local Motors. I think you just broke right through with a great headline on an otherwise very busy news day. The, you know, the debate and the Iran nuke treaty deal and you broke right through there that was pretty good jay rogers you you might come back is that right <laughs> thank you thank you're you, welcome <laughs> okay